anger, outrage, and now a last-minute legal victory for opponents of President Trump's immigration ban. People have been protesting all day long at Kennedy Airport, but their demonstration turned into a celebration just a few hours ago. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear has more now on the new developments live from the airport. Brian? Well, Alice, that federal judge's ruling in Brooklyn court tonight blocks the Trump administration from sending refugees and immigrants from seven Muslim-majority countries back to their home nations. But it doesn't mean they're being allowed free here in the U.S. either. Now, there are still lots and lots of protesters here at Terminal 4 at JFK. They disrupted things for hours tonight, but at least two of the immigrants detained here were released after going through a thorough review. Chanting protesters marched on Terminal 4 at Kennedy Airport Saturday night. Passengers just trying to get home were caught in the chaos and traffic nearly shut down. At one point, the crowd tried to get inside, but police in riot gear managed to keep them at bay. Port Authority police even blocked access to the air train at JFK because of what they called overcrowding. But Governor Cuomo ordered them to reopen it to protesters, saying, quote, the people of New York will have their voices heard. Even this normally busy taxi stand was empty because drivers stopped picking up passengers in solidarity with the protesters and the refugees. Taxi drivers, yellow cab, green cab, black car are universally immigrant, over 94%, and they're largely Muslim and Sikh. America is the greatest nation, the greatest people in the world. Despite having a valid visa, Hamid Khalid Darwish, an interpreter for the U.S. military in Iraq, was one of at least 12 immigrants at JFK detained at the airport by Customs and Border Patrol under President Trump's new executive order he signed at the Pentagon on Friday. It temporarily bans refugees and immigrants from seven nations linked to terrorism, Iraq, Iran, Syria, Yemen, Libya, Sudan, and Somalia. But Saturday, Trump said it is not about targeting Muslims. It's not a Muslim ban, but we were totally prepared. It's working out very nicely. You see it at the airports. You see it all over. It's working out very nicely. And we're going to have a very, very strict ban, and we're going to have extreme vetting, which we should have had in this country for many years. But protesters outside federal court in Brooklyn cheered when a judge put a temporary injunction in place late Saturday night. We're going to go see each of the people provide counsel, try and get them out of detention right now, but at a minimum, they will not be returned back to danger. For his part, Darwish can't understand how he and his family got caught up in all this. I support the U.S. government from the other side of the war, but when I came here, they, they said no, and uh, they treat me as, as um, I break the rules or do something wrong. I'm surprised. There are dozens of police officers here trying to keep order and allow travelers to do their regular business. Late tonight, a senior official at the Department of Homeland Security confirmed there were about 375 travelers affected by this new policy today. Most of them were not allowed to board planes in their home countries, but we're told 109 were detained at airports around the U.S. when they arrived here. Some of them were screened and released like the two here at JFK. Some were sent back home before the judge's ruling tonight, and others are now just stuck in legal limbo. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We're live at JFK Airport tonight. Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News.